Hello everybody and welcome back. My name is Digi and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the migraine badge. So we got to do is spawn in a car or use any of the cards left over by other players in a public server. You can do this both public or private. So what you want to do is go ahead, get a car and drive off this way. You want to go in this direction, going the other way does not do anything. But just keep going like this. And what we got to do is collect keys. And it kind of like Piggy, you need one key to unlock another area. So our first key is the prison key. And that's going to be inside this little convenience store, shop, whatever you want to call it. But there you go. There is the prison key. We're then going to head back outside this way. And then hop back into our car. The early part of this quest badge is pretty nice. It's faster pace it's a lot less driving because you'll see in a few how much driving there is but our second key is going to be over here in the prison now it doesn't say prison because it's in another language but go ahead walk inside using your key and then you can go off to the left and then the first door right there is i guess a prison cell and that is going to have our other key which will be the um motel key now you go then head back out to your car your car is your friend trust me you do not want to do this walking it will take you probably hours so make sure you always have a car with you or nearby but then head over to the hotel the bonk hotel and hop on out now don't worry about the npcs the bad guys they're pretty dumb like, I just walk right by them, and they just, yeah, they're not smart. So, go ahead up this way to that door up there. Now, you might notice that a lot of things are open already. If you're in a public server, you might be lucky, and all these things already have been opened. But, that will give you your third key, the shack key. And you're going to hold on to this key for quite a while, because this is where the driving simulator comes in. However, there is more to this driving simulator than just driving. So, and I, I will explain in a bit. But if you're lucky, in the public server, all these doors and, you know, everything that has to be done has been done for you. However, there's no way of knowing unless you ask the people in the server if all these doors have been opened. And what's great is if you die, it saves the progress. The progress is server-based. But here is where it gets a little annoying. If you notice, there are boxes disappearing. These are giant Christmas presents. If you touch them, you die. If you touch the cactus, you die. If you touch the masked skibbity men, you die. Don't touch anything with your car except the road or the ground. But right here, yeah, I'm going to keep going. And then let's just keep driving. And these things disappear and reappear. Like, there. Yeah, see? Look at that. But I'm going to go ahead and speed this up a bit. But yeah, all you got to do is avoid these giant presents, clocks, whatever you want to call them. And they don't last the whole time, okay? They disappear and then reappear. But then they eventually don't appear anymore. And this is where it gets super long. I have sped up this footage by a lot. It takes that maybe, uh, I don't know, five eight minutes to get to our next point up this hill though is really hard take your time don't rush it. it it's gonna take you a good little while and going up this hill like so and also there is a world border don't touch the red wall if you get near it but here is where we're going to use the shack key you can go over here to the shack and walk inside there's also a spawn checkpoint on the other side of the road over there you're going to want to step on that because then if you die in the next steps, it will spawn you up here on top of that hill. Then we're going to drive even more. Don't worry. No more bad presents or anything is going to hurt you. You just go keep driving for a good long time until we have to go and use um, the next key. Which So when we went to the shack, we got the, um, the lab key. So, what we're going to do now is go ahead and exit and head up this ladder, the radio tower, and we're going to be getting the gas station key up here, okay? 
This is how you get the gas station key. It's right on the very top. And then let's just drop on down. There's no fall damage. Head on over back to your car. Again, you're going to want to keep that car around. And careful, they can get in with you. So make sure there's no NPCs nearby. But the gas station's right here. Just head on over. Walk inside. Head to the back. And this is where you'll use the key to open this door. But it's open. But that is then how you get the bridge key. Alright, so now we're going to head back to our car. And head to our final destination. Which is going to be the lab. Alright, or whatever it's called. I like to call it the lab because that's where they're cooking. Um, actually, it's really a prison. But here we go. We are now here at our final destination, that outpost 511. This is where things get really, really tricky. So head inside. Don't touch those red walls. Use your gun to break open the glass. Alright, so see right here? I'm going to shoot it. It breaks open the glass. You're going to head up and use the bridge key. And there's going to be a locked door here. But you're going to... Or lab key. Sorry. Lab key. And then you're going to use your your pistol to shoot the glass down. There will be bad guys in here if you're on a fresh server. So be very careful. But again, the NPCs are dumb. But they will hurt you. Okay? So you're going to continue forward like this. And yeah, there's a lot of guys. So clearly no one's been here yet. Because these doors are locked. But you're going to then use the lab key again to open up the lab. Where they be cooking. Look at this. This badge is cooking. This is probably the hardest badge I've done. Alright. And then you go go ahead and get the boiler key. And it does spawn back. So if a key has been picked up. It will spawn back. Because I ended up getting a duplicate. Which is fine. It, it doesn't matter if you get more than one. But you go ahead and exit the lab. And head back out this way. Just avoid them. Now, I just took a huge hit. So, I'm going to go ahead and stop here and heal up. Um, I just made a cut, though. And, uh, yes, you can heal. So, if you start getting really hurt, just go away from the NPCs and heal. So, what we're going to do now is head back out this way. And we're going to use the boiler key to open up the boiler door. And just like that, you just bump into it. Unfortunately, I died. But then, I came back. Uh... Yeah, seems fast for you. It took me a while. Then you're going to shoot your gun at the glass here, opening that area up. And then we're going to head back down this way where this is where uh, Walter and Jesse are being held. You see this red glass? It's okay if you touch it, but just go ahead and shoot it. Then you can go here, go to your right. And this is where we're going to get the prisoner key. This will help us unlock Jesse and Walter's um, prison cell. And it's a red key. That's how you know it is the key that will unlock their prison cell. You're going to head over back this way. Avoiding all the bad guys. Like so. It's very annoying. You got to do a lot of bob and weaving. Now in my case someone's already released them. But I'm still going to show you guys where they are. Now each prison cell does have another skibbity toilet in there. So be careful when you unlock them. But Walter's over here in this corner. I don't know where Jesse is, but he's in one of these cells, so ha have fun doing that. But then you're going to take them, and hopefully they're following you, and you're going to take them up this way, back out here, and do the main lobby. And you're going to go to your left, going up the stairs, back to the boiler room, and then go through either left or right side. It does not matter. I'm going to go to the left, though, and you're going to walk down this way, avoiding all the bad guys, and there should be an exit here. You're going to use Walter White, who's holding a key, to open up these doors. This is why you need him to follow you. Because if you kill him, he does not drop the key. You need him to open the exit. So without that, this is how he looks, by the way. He's holding the key. You need him. And then that's how Jesse looks like with a gas mask. But yeah, it's a very hard badge. So be very patient. Get a couple friends who know what they're doing and are actually trying to... I do recommend clearing out the outside first. Use your gun because it permanently stops the spawning. But anyways, good luck everybody. And uh, I'll see you all next time. Stay awesome, stay cool.